Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and I'm excited. I just took delivery of something that I want to, well if you've seen the thumbnail you already know what it is. I just took delivery of an e-bike. I've been planning for this for one year. I've been looking at all the YouTube videos and all the comparisons and I finally made a decision and pulled the trigger on this. It's the Be Cool Adventure e-bike. It's a fat tire e-bike and it's still in the box. It just came off the FedEx truck and I got to wait till Justin comes home and we're going to take it out and put it together. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan and I'm a caregiver for my wife Lynn who has a permanent brain injury. Things are a bit different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn life. As I mentioned in the intro, that I've been researching these for about a year, and it's a big ticket item. Um, so I made a decision that I, I was looking for an e-bike under uh, in the under $2,000 category. This was $1,600. And why was I looking for an e-bike? It was last summer when I first tried one, it belonged uh, to a friend of mine who's uh, uh, our scoutmaster, and we were doing uh, we were doing the canal trail rides. You might remember, or if you see look back, I did a video riding the canal, the New York State canals, on our regular bicycles, and I, we uh, did a ride with the Boy Scouts, and uh, he brought his e-bike, and he let me try it out, and I really liked it, and it was just lodged in the back of my mind that maybe that's something I should consider. I also had gone on some bicycle rides uh, around my house and Justin went with me and uh, I was actually in pretty good shape and had been riding a lot and doing other things but despite that the hills were killing me. They were killing my knees and uh, it just wasn't. It just wasn't fun. Uh, Justin didn't have as much of an issue, uh, but it was killing me. I had to stop a couple times, and this was after trying the e-bike. And I really started thinking about it. I said, "Geez, maybe the e-bike would kind of level things out for me, so I could leave the house and uh, uh, take a ride on, uh, you know, anywhere on the roads. And despite the hills, it would be a little bit more enjoyable because there aren't any level." bike trails right by our house. I'd have to take, uh, put my bike in the car and take a ride to the canal or one of the other trails to, uh, to do that. So I decided to get an e-bike. So when looking for an e-bike, especially in the under $2,000 category, there are a lot of options. Lots of options. Um, there are mostly the small companies made in the United States and uh, um, they're very creative, uh, they're all pretty good, they all seem pretty good, most of the reviews I'm getting, um, most of the videos I'm watching, they're all pretty good. So in that category I decided to get the Be Cool Adventurer. And one of the reasons was I figured, I didn't want something that was going to be outdated very quickly. Uh, like battery life for example. Um, the battery on the Be Cool Adventure is a 21 amp. That is the biggest in that category. It has a very long life to it. Um, it should give me, in, on just full throttle, without any pedaling, at least a good 40 miles. <laughs> Imagine that, 40 miles. That's more than I'm going I'm to be going anyways. Um, on just full throttle, no pedaling. With pedaling, you can go about 70. So that right off is more than I, I was ever going to need. I'm looking at something I could just take off in the morning and go for a nice little ride. And uh, it also has some other features on it that some of the other bikes doesn't. Uh, I wanted a fat tire bike. And I wanted a, a bike with uh, a good suspension that I could go off-road in. And it has uh, 
uh, a rear suspension. None of the other bikes in its category have a rear suspension. This one does. It also has a couple other little things. It has directionals and uh, on the rear uh, light it has, you know, it's a brake light, it's uh, just a warning light for people, uh, so cars, uh, you know, notice you're there, but it also has directionals. Not that I'm going to be using that much, but I kind of like that feature. Uh, occasionally, you might have to go through traffic. Um, I've done that before on a regular bike. Um, so, I kind of like the bike that had that. So, it had a lot of things. It has a lot of little features that I like. And the um, the reviews are good. The reviews are good on it. And uh, from what I'm reading, it there's good customer service. Um, paid for the bike, and it got here about a week. There was no charge for shipping whatsoever. And uh, it was good tracking. And um, it's here. It just arrived today. So I have to wait for Justin to get back from the root farm from his work and uh, he's going to help me lift it out of the box where there's some minor assembly work you probably get it done in about 15 minutes but we're going to go through it hopefully there's nothing damaged i'm not too worried because if there is something damaged on it like some of the reviews showed that sometimes happens um they're pretty good about sending you the replacement part right away so we'll see uh the box did uh has a few little punctures on it. Uh, I've opened it up from the top and looked in. It doesn't look like uh, anything inside is damaged at this point, but we'll see when Justin uh, 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 and I pull it out of the box. It did come by ground. It was. It took about a week to get here, and I tracked it. Um, the longer things are in transition, the better chance that something could be damaged. But and it is heavy. These e-bikes, uh, especially these fat tire e-bikes, are really beefy. Um, so um, it's, uh, I think the bike itself weighs about 78 pounds. So the, with the box and everything, I think we're looking at about 100 pounds there. Um, so um, I'm anxious to get it out. I'm anxious to. Get, I can't wait till Justin gets home because I want. I want to pull it out and start assembling it and see how it works. Now we're going to do a two-part video. This video is on the unboxing and me and me explaining to you why I'm getting an e-bike, etc. And the next video will be actually testing it, actually taking it for a ride. And uh, I got all the cameras. I do it all the time on my uh, motorcycle. And. Uh, well, we're going to take you for a ride. We're, we're going to go on a ride together on the e-bike, and I'll give you a full analysis on what I think of the B-bike, or the Be Cool Adventurer e-bike. Not the B-bike. Well, maybe I'll call it a B-bike. But it's the Be Cool is the brand name, and the type of bike is the Adventure. They have several different uh, models. And uh, this is the one I chose. It's a fat tire on and off-road uh, bike, e-bike, with a rear suspension. And the front suspension you could turn on and off. <sighs> Should be cool. Come join us on Patreon for even more content and become a Lin Lifer. Just click the link in our description. All right, well, Justin's uh, back, and we're uh, going to unbox it. There is a, uh, a whole video on how to assemble this thing available on their website, on the Be Cool website. So we're going to attempt to lift it up and out and see how that works. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, the bike is mostly unpacked. I'm going to start assembly. I just want you to see this tire. 
Look at the size of this tire. This looks like a motorcycle tire. <laughs> it's gigantic. It's four inches wide. Um, this is not a normal bicycle tire at all. Look at that thing. Oh, and one thing I want to mention too. It has hydraulic brakes. Hydraulic. That was something not available on other or that many other e-bikes. So I like that. I like hydraulic brakes. So probably more dependable. So and very fat tires. So uh, we're going to uh, put the handlebars on next. Justin's unboxing the. There's a box over here with tools and directions and other things in there. So we're unboxing that and then we're going to put the handlebars on and after that we'll put this tire on and then we'll, we'll proceed with some of the other some of the other details but uh, so far it looks good and everything seems to be intact no damage so far but we'll see when we uh, actually test test it out make sure every, all the connections are working and everything This is it so far. We got the pedals on, front wheel on. Don't have the rack, which also has the uh, uh, the rear light on it as well. And speaking of light, we still have the the front light. We got to mount that on it. The, we did power it up, and that's all working. And it even has a horn. That's cool, and the uh, rear wheel works. We, we, we tried that out. It's, you hit that throttle a little bit, and away it goes. It wants to take off. And there's a front fender. I don't even know if I'm going to put that on. I think I might just keep that off. I love to look at that real fat front wheel. Man. Now, of course, I have to adjust everything. Just the uh, front, front seats got to, or the seats got to go up a little bit. That 21 amp battery. Justin explained the difference between amps and watts to me. Okay. Justin's a school for electrical engineering. So, um, yeah, the rear fender was rubbing in the wheel a little bit. I adjusted that. And we're going to put the rack on. I think the next thing is to put the uh, front or the headlight on it, right? And so far, I'm a little pleased. It looks great. Pretty easy to use. Turn the power off. Yeah. built, completely put together, you know how to turn on this light, you know how to turn off the rear right, rear light, it's got a, a directionals and a brake light and everything and it all seems to be working. A few adjustments, the seat, um, this little uh, display here, it's all great, it works fine. I just got to tighten that up a little bit. 
check the tires, make sure they're all inflated. The next video, we're going to go through the whole operation of this bike. There's a lot of stuff on it, a lot of cool stuff. And I'm going to go through that and we're going to take it for a ride. I'm going to take you for a ride. So look for that video. And we'll see you next time on the Wind Life.